back to the greatest Minecraft series <laughs> in the world. This, ladies and gentlemen, is not Squid Island. In case you haven't seen the previous episodes, let me explain. Some weeks ago, I used to be the mayor and everything seemed to be under control until I got assassinated. That assassination led to a chaos on Squid Island. I burnt down Slogos and Craner's houses. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Slogo then went rogue and admitted to killing the King Glowy and moved to a brand new island called New Squid Island, which um <clears throat> has been set on fire and is now also completely destroyed. We then sailed off to never speak again. And that's where we are now. I found myself a beautiful mountain, not too far off the original island. It's just over there just behind the clouds. And I climbed to the top and well, this thing appears to be covered in just a tiny bit of snow, which I am gonna use to build myself a nice new house. I don't wanna quit the series. I love this series, but I have lost everything. I literally don't even have a pickaxe because I was murdered, assassinated over and over again. I'm telling you, you should watch those episodes because so much stuff went down. It's just hard to explain. Please like the video if you want me to continue. Oh, also I should probably say this is the only thing that i've got remaining a glowing ink sack <sighs> yes that's king glowy king glowy he's dead oh god he didn't deserve that he was good for squid island he was the ultimate squid he didn't deserve to die it was it's it's literally all slogo's fault now i don't know exactly what my plan is however i do know that i want to hide my house i know for a fact that craner and slogo are still on the server i don't know if they're playing together i don't know what the plan is but i cannot expose myself to them that would be a very stupid thing to do so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build ourselves a little hut and then once that's done yes i will go back to squid island to snoop around if i can find anything. Ow! I mean, who knows? Maybe Craner and Slogo have already been on and built something or completely destroyed the rest of my house or anything. I don't know. Are you kidding me? Did I just... <laughs> Alright, let's go get some of this iron. Sweet. That's three pieces. We're gonna smelt those. Okay, so how about we use one of these trees to build a house? Is that a good idea? I think so. You see, if you look in the distance over there, there's actually like really big versions of this tree. So if we just replicate a couple of those, I think we'll go very, very far. Should I make shears or should I make a pickaxe? I might need shears in order to make something that looks like a tree. All right, let's have a look here then. Do these grow when I put saplings down? Does that work? I have no idea. Idea, but uh, that's why we're uh, faking it. Now, yes, I do know that I left my cats on Squid Island. Don't worry. I believe he is alive, so I will uh, have to go and collect him. In case you missed it, uh, Slogo's pets, I think, are dead. Craner's pets are dead. So I think my pet is the last one standing. And the, th and, and the only reason that he's still standing is because I built a pyramid. You see, a pyramid actually ended up being a good structure. Although, it did get broken into and all my diamonds were stolen. <sighs> and everything I owned. All right, so let's use some shears then. This is my first time doing this, but yeah, the plan is to kind of build a tree house looking thing, right? I think it's a kind of smart idea. Oh wow, that shear thing is going really fast. I like it though. Ah! Why does that keep happening? Okay, we've got a ton of wood now. Uh, let's go back up and uh, we actually, we might have to kill some of these cows and stuff for food because I have nothing. I literally have nothing. Sorry, cows. Please appreciate me um, because I appreciate you. What is this? Is that... What is that? Bone block? What? I have never seen this before. I have never seen bone blocks. But that bone meal might come in handy, though. I'm definitely going to be using some of that. Whoa, look at that. What? We've got so much bone meal. <laughs> I had no idea that I could do that. We should definitely try to get some saplings, though. So let's just break this tree, and then we get some saplings from it. And we just uh, do it all again. We literally put this tree back. There you go. Tree is gone. All right. In the meantime, we can start the build of our new tree. Again, this uh, needs to look somewhat realistic, right? I don't know how high they have to go, but I think that's probably a good base, just like that. And then we grab our leaves. Oh, look at our sapling spawning in. That's good. Okay, well, this appears to be going well, I think. Let's have a look. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, it needs to be wider, doesn't it? It definitely needs to be wider. I do wonder, though, if I put four of those spruce leaves together, or saplings, will I get one of those big trees? Yeah, 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 we're definitely gonna try it. We got five. All right, let's do it here. Let's do it here. I don't know if this is how it's gonna work. Oh my god, that worked! What? <laughs> 
I literally didn't even I didn't even have to do, do this. Oh my goodness, that's so dumb of me. All right, we're gonna do that again. <laughs> I got so lucky that I found all that bone meal. Clearly, that is the way to do this. I just need some more spruce saplings, but that's easy. We just chopped down some smaller spruce trees and voila. We got a spruce sapling for days. Okay, before we start chopping down spru spruce trees, I will chop down this oak tree because this one appears to be in the wrong biome. So this one has to go as well, and I'll replace it with some spruce trees. Look at that. There's so many. There's literally, like, hundreds. Great. All right, we're just going to chop some of these down. We'll get uh, saplings for that in return, and then we're going to place those saplings on top of there because we got bone meal. Like, what is our luck, man? I like my new tree hut. It's going to be the greatest hut. I, I wasn't actually sure if it was going to be a tree hut. I just wanted to cover it with trees. We'll see how it turns out, okay? Oh, look at that. Saplings. More saplings. All right, we've got 21 saplings. This is gonna be one giant tree. Wait, let's place some saplings before I start spamming down these, um, oh no, why is this oak tree here? I need that one to go. There you go, one big one over there, one big one over here, smaller one, uh, smaller one. Wow, this, this is gonna be a covered mountain. Again, I could make them grow naturally, however, kinda wanna speed up the big ones. I also don't know if the big ones are gonna grow naturally, whether they only require bone meal. Again, I'm not the biggest Minecraft expert, okay? I never claimed to be either. Definitely gonna need some on this side too oh i just ran out well there we go that's a beautiful tree we're gonna have to remove this oak tree and then we're gonna start using some bone meal all right here we go come on why doesn't it work is it too close is there like a legal limit or something okay oh whoa it changes the dirt i did not know that Oh my, whoa! Okay, there's definitely some kind of thing it needs. Well, okay, maybe that one's like too close to the edges. Could that be the case? This one's surrounded by one blocks of dirt. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's the snow, 100%. Not the snow? I don't know. Come on, boys. What would it be? I'm, I'm wasting a bunch of bone meal here. I kind of wanted it on this side. This was going to be the big boy. All right, maybe we should lower this platform by one block. We've only got eight pieces of bone meal left. It could be the snow, you know. It could be the snow. So we're going to remove some of the snow blocks. Hopefully the snow comes back, though. I kind of like the snow. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, that one's got barely any leaves. I didn't agree to that. Okay, um, I just came down the mountain to have a look at it, and I'm gonna be honest, it looks very, very cool. It kind of just looks like this biome continues to the top, and I created that. Yay. All right, so now let's go back to the top and see if we can create ourselves a tiny little hut. Because in the end of the day, we're gonna have to live there. I'm gonna have to get my bed, my cat, put my chest there and some stuff. Look at this, man. I put so many new trees down. This is looking great. Okay, yeah, nobody even realizes that this is my house now. Oh, what? There's zombies here? Okay, that's a bit scary. Wait, I'm gonna have to block that off in case they come back up. Because I know about the bottom entrance, so I don't need this entrance. There you go. All right, there we go. Look at this. I don't even recognize it. Oh, also, yeah, I put a new tree down here. This one is new. And look at that big one over here. <laughs> All right, so here's the plan. First, we need some ladders. Ladder. Boop. 15, is that enough? I'm not totally sure how high we need to go. Now, this is gonna be my tree. Yeah, don't tell Crater or Slogo. <laughs> All right, this should be high enough. All right, so these two trees are gonna be connected. There you go, look at that. I swear, I don't think you'll see this from the outside once it's done. It just looks like one giant looking tree. I knew those leaves would come in handy. All right, so there's that. The thing is as well, this is so high up. I don't think anyone's gonna see this. I guess we could create a way down here as well. Although that might be a little bit much. We could, however, create a path. Let's have a look. It goes towards here, and then this is a little viewing point, I guess. Eh, not bad. Not bad. I could even connect it to two more trees if I want to. However, let's leave it with this for now. What does that look like from the bottom, then? Okay, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. The thicker the layer, the less see-through. But again, Squid Island is that way, so from this side, you can't even see it. Good. That looks great. Might have to put one more, like, tree here. But I actually ran out of saplings. Uh, so once I've got more saplings, I guess I can do that. All right, let's move our chest up. Wait, no, I don't have a chest. I mean my crafting table and my workbench. La, 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 la. Beautiful. And then we're going to go head over to Squid Island to see if anybody else 
has been snooping around. I like this. I like this. This is my little safe zone. Don't tell my friends, please. Cover the rest up a little bit more. It's really too bad I don't have any more saplings. I could really use some. But again, I don't think Slogo or Craner are going to find this anytime soon. Look. You cannot even see it. It's so high up. <laughs> what I might have to do, though, is if I find a bucket on Squid Island, I could uh, get, like, a little waterfall going so that I have, like, an easy way up. Look, squids. I told you we're not far off. Here's my boat. Good, good, good. Man, I really do miss my pyramid, though. I hope it's not going to last forever. Look, it's really not far away. There's our new home. And there's our old home. Ah! Kind of hurts looking at it, doesn't it? Who did this? Was it Slogo? Of course it was Slogo. He has been causing so many issues. He's got no respect for somebody else's property. The amount of times I got murdered when we played last. It's just unacceptable. What? Somebody destroyed the nether portal. Oh my goodness. I feel like that's because somebody made a home in the nether, but I might be wrong. So somebody has been online. All right, is my cat still alive? Wait, my, my cat's not in here. Of course, of course, of course, of course, course. I, I had a hidden base. <laughs> uh, that was when chaos was going down. I needed to uh, hide my cat and some of my belongings. And I'm really happy now that I did because, wow, I didn't think this would turn out like this. Here we go. They haven't found about this, right? Melvin, my little cat. Now, let's bring some stuff with us, shall we? Ooh, I have a bucket. I don't have many good things, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I did, like, get murdered and stuff. So, I guess it makes sense. All right, Melvino, just make sure you, uh, don't fall in that lava pool that I just saw. Let's have a quick check. Has anybody else been online? So, the lava portal is gone. Nobody's online right now. Wait, somebody left their horse. Somebody, I'm, I'm taking that, I'm taking that, I'm taking that. It's like tied up though. Come, I, how do I turn that thing off? There we go. All right, I'm taking the horse with me. I'm taking the horse. All right, Slogo's house looks pretty much destroyed. Um, oh my goodness. New Squid Island is definitely destroyed. Whoa, there is nothing left of that. That's been wiped out. The town hall is also kind of gone still. Craner hasn't built himself a new boat. I'm very proud of him for that one. Okay, everything looks like really bad still okay that's 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 fine i guess i just wonder why the nether portal's broken i don't really understand that part um all right let's go back to the other piece of uh, our land can we get the horse through the water though or is our horse gonna drown our horse might drown won't it wait ah ah my horse can't do that this is because this works this works this works yeah We'll swim then. Might be able to use a boat. I have no idea. Am I able to use a boat? Should I try? I know that the cat will just TP behind me, but what about the boat? Oh, this works. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! All right, horsey horse, you come with me. And there is our new tree land. Whoa, it looks kind of epic, doesn't it? I could have also picked that mount. That one already seemed to have spruce trees. <laughs> right, there's one thing, though. I'm definitely going to need to hide the horse. I'm not sure how to do that. All right. Come on, horsey. Wait, I must not forget. A bucket of water. Horsey, we going up the hill. Oh, this is much quicker, though. Look at that. Look at that. Horsey's skilled. Horsey's so skilled. Woo! Okay, that was actually much easier with a horse. Not gonna lie. Ooh. Ah, ah, ooh. I don't wanna fall down there. All right, we gotta hide this guy. Can we climb? Nope, we can't. All right, I've got an idea, uh, and it's gonna be right here. All right, let's make a fence. We're gonna put that one there, and then we're gonna grab our lead. Where did the horse go? Hey! You're gonna stay put, buddy. You're gonna stay put. And while we're at that... I'm just gonna push you into the right direction. I know this might be a little boring for the horsey, but it's what's best. There we go. I'm sorry, buddy, but I will need you to climb up this hill every now and then. And where did my cat go? Just tell me my cat's not dead. Melvin! Melvino! Maquetino! That's perfect. That's perfect. That water source is literally perfect. It might freeze, though. Ah! We'll find out about that then. Melvino! Melvino! Oh, wait. No, that is not good. That looks horrible. I don't like it when it spreads like that. Melvino! Where's my cat? Melvin! Why don't I hear my cat? How did you end up in the boat? Oh, my God, dumb cat. Ugh. Do I really need to bring you everywhere? Come on, catty cat. All right, now we can use the new waterfall that I just put down. Let's have a look what it looks like. Whoa. That looks really cool. I like it. Yeehaw! All right, Melvin. Our horse is here. He's well hidden. Melvin, you're coming with me to the top of our tree. Bleep, 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 bleep. Whee! Melvin, made your tree house. Come on. Where did he go? Melvin! Seriously? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Here, here, here. Yes. And then stay put. Uh -huh. Woo! We did it! There's one more thing, though. And that last thing is actually very important. We have to make a little memory for him. We have to do it. This is our Lord and Savior. King Louie! <sighs> I'm gonna have to add a little sign. R I P to the greatest King Glowy. We will miss you, King Glowy! 
<laughs> I think this is fair to him. This is fair. I know it's not the prettiest. I know you deserve more, King Glowy. But this is all I've got right now, okay? This is all I've got. You know what? We'll actually close up our little terrace area because, oh, that looks horrible. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't really know where to go from here. But if you do, please let me know in the comments.